I'm super excited to welcome back my friend, Dan Cunningham. Hi there. Dan, you're a familiar face on the Butler Buzz. Oh, yeah. That's about, what, the 34th time I've been here to visit you folks? I think so. And that's because Dan represents the Rodfathers of Butler. And Dan, I was looking at your schedule, meaning your organization schedule sure. coming up, and you have a pretty busy uh, season. We do. We, we certainly do. We have probably 10 events at least that we're going to participate in and maybe more because we often get extra requests after uh, summer yeah, gets here. Exactly. But we can only do so many. And sure. th these are definitely scheduled for us this year. So sure. we're happy with what we have and, and we'll be plenty busy. I guarantee right. you that. So let's just imagine that there's somebody out there, though, that has not okay. familiar with the Rodfathers of Butler. Can All you right. kind of tell us a little bit more about your organization and the goal? Sure. Yeah. The goal of the Rodfathers of Butler is to create a uh, car cruise uh, situation in different venues around Butler County. Okay. And uh, that can be small or large or anywhere in between. We do that. Our goal is to raise money for charity. Uh, it's been 29 years this year that we've been doing this. And that's our goal to hold car cruises where we can attract people to come and spend a little bit of money and uh, donate that money to charity from whatever way we put on to raise the money at that particular yeah. event. And it goes back to Butler County, right? It all does. Yeah. yeah. We uh, we take uh, uh, all the cash that we make uh, through the year, and then we divide that up by eight okay. uh, in December, and we award uh, donations to eight different non-for-profit, normally, organizations that have a need for money for their organization uh, at the end of the year. So right. we do that. We love to do that. Yeah. It's, it's been great. And I encourage everybody to check out their website because you could see the extensive list of individuals that have benefited, meaning their nonprofit organizations have benefited from yeah. the great work that you do. It's pretty large. Yeah. And you're, now you're hosting these amazing events for the community. Mm -hmm. You have the big one that we want to focus on, and then we're going to kind of give you a little bit of a taste and see of some other ones. So you have the Cruise of Palooza. That's mm -hmm. on June 23rd. Right. And what time? 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, in downtown Butler. Downtown Butler on Main Street. You kind of take over, right? Oh, uh, we do. Uh, yeah, we kind of own Main Street uh, for about seven or eight hours. Uh, people will normally start showing up around five or six in the morning with their oh, cars wow. because they want their spot back. You yes, know. do they have that spot? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes they do. But oh. actually, they know what they're doing. They know, know when to get there. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty busy day for us. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, a number of things going on that day. Of course, uh, we have three, either three or four live DJs okay. up and down Main Street at different locations. Uh, we'll have a, a live band again this year. Uh, for the third year in a row, we have the band out of Zillianople, this, that, and the other thing. And they're very good. Uh, anybody out there that hasn't seen them, I, I recommend you come down and spend an hour with them. They're really good. So will they be playing like throughout the day or is there a specific like... They have two sets. They have two sets. Okay, yeah. yep. They'll be playing at uh, one and three. One and three. Uh, we'll be there. Uh, we'll be there times down there. All right. So and then DJ, we have Elvis too. Yep. I, oh, Elvis. Yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. <laughs> and, and it's pretty unique what he does. Uh, he'll start with the uh, first DJ down around Fisher's Garage. Okay. And uh, he will, he'll set up there and he'll sing, uh, oh, five, six, seven songs there. And a group will come and see him. And then he'll walk up to the next DJ station, okay. which is uh, up uh, closer to um, oh, maybe Jefferson Street, oh, right. up, up in that area. Mm -hmm. And he'll sing there for uh, a bunch of uh, people and more and more and more will follow him. By the time he gets up to the courthouse to the last DJ, he's got a huge crowd just following him up. Just like Street, Elvis would, right? Like Elvis would. And he's very good. Uh, I would say this is, I think, the fourth year for him coming back. Okay. He really enjoys it, and, and he's very good, too. So right. we love having him back. So you also have a lot of food vendors. In fact, I was asking Dan mm -hmm. before we got started today, there aren't really any spots left for additional food vendors. Mm -hmm. However, if you're an artisan, something like that, and you want to be, be a vendor, you want to contact them as soon as possible. Correct. So you have the DJs. You have the band at one and three. Mm -hmm. You have all of these amazing cars. This is a family event. Oh, you know, family, family friendly. For sure. Oh, no doubt about that. Last year, we attracted uh, just a little over 1,600 cruise cars downtown Butler. Wow. Okay. And, and that we expect to get that many or more this year. Yeah. And we estimated, we didn't, the people who are in that business estimated we had around 17,000 people come through. So it's a lot of people that come and we attract them, like I say, from all over Western Pennsylvania, uh, West Virginia, New York, Ohio, Canada, 
Texas. Sure. I mean, they come from everywhere. Well, you've been doing this for 29 years. 29 years. Next and year, we're going to have to do something big. 30 years when you come back. Oh, we will. Yeah, 30 <laughs> is going to be a big year. Uh, believe me, we have some things planned already for the for, uh, for our 30th anniversary. It's Dan, be have you been involved for 29 years? I've been in it for 15 years. Now. 15 years. Yeah. And that's a good, it's something else we wanted to talk about today. If this is something you want to get involved in, helping plan, volunteer, you can join the Rod Fathers as well. Now let's sure. give everybody a little bit of a preview because you have a lot of other events happening. What's oh, the kickoff do. event? The kickoff, the kickoff event this year is going to be out at Armco Park. Okay. That's uh, our third year in a row for Armco Park, supporting them and the YMCA on uh, a fundraiser out there. That's strictly a fundraiser, and we're more than happy to help them. And we attract a pretty large crowd out there. Right. That's for sure. We have a unique thing coming this year. There's an antique school bus, an okay. antique, old, I mean, really old school bus that some folks down in Aetna okay. want to bring out to Armco Park. So that'll be different. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. And I might mention that uh, we have the state police always show up with their squad car and they uh, work with the children and give out little stickers and things like that. We do that at Cruz Palooza and normally at Armco Park also. Uh -huh. So throughout the summer, they'll be at other locations too. This is, again, just a little bit of a taste and see. You have the Lowry House, you have Sunny View, you have Ace Hardware. Right. I, I know I'm missing uh, some. Uh, Lick Hill Fire Department. That's a big fundraiser for uh, for a, a gentleman. And also uh, a new one out at Slippery Rock Golf Course. Okay. It's going to be very unique out there. There's going to be a lot of skill games at that one, some DJs, a live band, a lot of food, 50-50. It's going to be a great event out there, too. You're going to have a busy summer. Oh, my goodness, yes. And, and we like it that way. Absolutely. You know? Sure. Well, Dan, thank you for being on again. No right, problem. I know. We're out of time, <laughs> right? We could keep talking. We just started. <laughs> All well, right. we appreciate everything you do. Good all luck right. with your events. They're going to be all beautiful days, sunny, thank you. right? No rain. All right. You okay. said it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.